Hello, I'm Brian Wellinghoff. Welcome to Lean Terms Demystified. Today we're going to talk about the priority matrix, which is actually one of my favorite L3 tools because I think we can use it in so many situations. The priority matrix is a visual tool that helps us determine which improvements or ideas we should select first and try in improving the processes we have in the business. I don't know about you, but I find myself a lot of times in meetings or improvement events where a lot of ideas are thrown out there, five, 10, even 20 ideas, and it's hard to determine which ones we should try first. There's a lot of circular talking, the pros of this one and the cons of that one, and we just keep talking around in circles about what we should do. The priority matrix is a simple tool you can pull out in any conversation or meeting to help focus that conversation around two areas, the impact and the effort. Let's see how that plays out. So when we put our uh, priority matrix together, what we really want to do is we want to draw a large box. This can be done on a whiteboard or a flip chart, whatever makes the most sense. And we want to compare two things, the impact, and that's how much change we get. Uh, cost savings, time improvements, reduced frustration, personal fulfillment, whatever the positive impact is going to be. Over here we want to put effort. And that again could be the time involved. It could be how much cost we have associated with it. It could just be the difficulty, how complex something is, how many different people are involved uh, it's to take that on. And so it's going to help us chart out the different ideas that we have to their relative impact and effort. So we want to prep our priority matrix here with two additional things. First thing we want to do is put some dashed lines to divide it up into four quadrants. And here's my little trick for you today. We want to assign a specific letter to each one of the quadrants. We want to put an A, a B, a C, and a D. These will be helpful later as we help to hope to understand how each letter associates with how a project might grade out and which ones we want to take on. So let's say we're in a brainstorming situation. We have five ideas. So we talk about idea number one. We ask ourselves, what's the impact of idea number one? Well, it's pretty high. But then we say, well, what's the effort for number one? Oh my goodness, that's a really difficult, challenging, complex process. It's going to be very difficult. Let's put one up there. And then let's look, number two's impact maybe isn't as great, but it's not as much effort either. We'll put a two right here. Now number three idea, whatever that idea is, it's not as great of an impact, but the effort is pretty simple. We think we can accomplish that quickly, maybe even in one day. We'll put that there. Idea number four is low impact, and once we talked about it, we realized, boy, it's more complicated than we originally thought. It's going to be a lot of effort, and we put it up there. Our fifth idea, we talk about, everybody agrees, that's going to have a phenomenal impact. And wouldn't you know, the effort is not going to be too great. So we'll put a five there. How does this help us determine which improvement ideas to try first? Well, we want to try those in our A quadrant first. Ideas number five and number two, because we're going to get a great amount of impact for not too much effort. After that, we might consider doing improvement ideas in B. These can help us get some quick wins, build some momentum, demonstrate that we're really making changes, especially if they're things we can do quickly. Now, we might consider projects in area C, but we really want to make sure that there's a lot of consensus throughout the whole organization before we take them on, because there's a lot of difficulty, complexity, and effort involved. And when we look at uh, project ideas in letter D, we want to deselect those. The effort that they're going to take is just not going to be worth their impact to the organization. What this allows us to do is focus our conversation and determine which improvement ideas to try first. So that's the priority matrix. The opportunity to look at ideas in a focused way, determine their impact versus their effort, and therefore select which projects we should take on first. That's the priority matrix. Another lean term, demystify.